proofs of the famous mathematical result that the rational number 22 sevenths is greater than pi date back to antiquity. One of these proofs, more recently developed but requiring only elementary techniques from calculus, has attracted attention in modern mathematics due to its mathematical elegance and its connections to the theory of Diophantine approximations. Stephen Lucas calls this proof one of the more beautiful results related to approximating pi. Julian Havel ends a discussion of continued fraction approximations of pi with the result, describing it as impossible to resist mentioning in that context. The purpose of the proof is not primarily to convince its readers that 22 sevenths is indeed bigger than pi. Systematic methods of computing the value of pi exist. If one knows that pi is approximately 3.14159, then it trivially follows that pi less than 22 sevenths, which is approximately 3.142857. But it takes much less work to show that pi less than 22 sevenths by the method used in this proof than to show that pi is approximately 3.14159. Background 22 sevenths is a widely used Diophantine approximation of pi. It is a convergent in the simple continued fraction expansion of pi. It is greater than pi, as can be readily seen in the decimal expansions of these values. The approximation has been known since antiquity. Archimedes wrote the first known proof that 22 sevenths is an overestimate in the 3rd century BCE. Although he may not have been the first to use that approximation, his proof proceeds by showing that 22 sevenths is greater than the ratio of the perimeter of a circumscribed regular polygon with 96 sides to the diameter of the circle. Another rational approximation of pi that is far more accurate is 355 113. The proof. The proof can be expressed very succinctly. Therefore 22 sevenths greater than pi. The evaluation of this integral was the first problem in the 1968 Putnam competition. It is easier than most Putnam competition problems. But the competition often features seemingly obscure problems that turn out to refer to something very familiar. This integral has also been used in the entrance examinations for the Indian Institutes of Technology. Details of evaluation of the integral That the integral is positive follows from the fact that the integrand is a quotient whose numerator and denominator are both non-negative, being sums or products of powers of non-negative real numbers. Since the integrand is positive, the integral from 0 to 1 is positive because the lower limit of integration is less than the upper limit of integration. It remains to show that the integral in fact evaluates to the desired quantity. Quick upper and lower bounds in Dalzal, it is pointed out that if one is substituted for ex in the denominator, one gets a lower bound on the integral, and if zero is substituted for ex in the denominator, one gets an upper bound. Thus we have hence 3.1412 less than pi less than 3.1421 in decimal expansion. The bounds deviate by less than 0.015% from pi. See also Dalzal. Proof that 355 113 succeeds pi, as discussed in Lucas. The well-known Diophantine approximation and far better upper estimate 355 113 for pi follows from the relation note that where the first six digits after the period agree with those of pi, substituting 1 for x in the denominator, we get the lower bound substituting 0 for ex in the denominator, we get twice this value as an upper bound. Hence in decimal expansion, this means 3.1415927 less than pi less than 3.1415974, where the bold digits of the lower and upper bound are those of pi. Extensions. The above ideas can be generalized to get better approximations of pi. See also Backhaus and Lucas. For explicit calculations, consider, for every integer n1, where the middle integral evaluates to involving pi, 
The last sum also appears in Leibniz formula for pi. The correction term and error bound is given by where the approximation of the central binomial coefficient follows from Stirling's formula and shows the fast convergence of the integrals to pi. Calculation of these integrals for all integers k0 and l2 we have applying this formula recursively to n times yields furthermore where the first equality holds because the terms for 1j3n-1 cancel, and the second equality arises from the index shift jj plus 1 in the first sum. Application of these two results gives for integers k, l0, using integration by parts l times, we obtain setting k equals l equals 4n. We obtain integrating from 0 to 1 using an arctan equals pi 4. We get the claimed equation involving pi. The results for n equals 1 are given above. For n equals 2 we get and hence 3.1415921 less than pi less than 3.1415929 where the bold digits of the lower and upper bound are those of pi. Similarly for n equals 3 with correction term and error bound hence 3.1415926534 4 less than pi less than 3.1415926 6587 the next step for n equals 4 is with which gives 3.1415926535895 less than pi less than 3.1415926535896